Chicken coming your way. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. It's The Miz against Bray Wyatt. You don't want to miss it. Making his way to the ring, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. Here comes the A-lister, folks. I think you mean self-proclaimed A-lister. Though I'd say he definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. Yeah, this one's not going to be easy, that's for sure. But hey, is anything worth doing ever easy? And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Well, guys, to say this Phoenix crowd is ready for this match would be a gross understatement. Great offense by The Miz. And so, what are your thoughts right now on Bray Wyatt? So, what can these WWE fans expect out of him tonight? I like his chances here tonight, Cole. I know I'm not breaking any news here, but when it comes to singles competition, he really has what it takes. Yeah, he wants to send a message in this one, and that message is, I am here to stay. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. There may not be a more heartless individual than Bray Wyatt. When the lights go out and the Eater of Worlds stands in front of us, we're almost guaranteed to witness a gruesome scene. Uh. 
The Miz with a nice reversal. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. He's back in control here. X marks the spot on that one. That's not the way you want things to go down. Literally. Bray Wyatt has nothing but cruel intentions and no absence of malice. Bray Wyatt looks to eviscerate anyone who does not follow him. Everyone in the WWE locker room and the WWE universe knows that. Bray Wyatt can hold millions of people around the world in the palm of his hand, and that's what makes him such a harrowing figure. Made him pay there. And he gets out of there in a hurry. Looks like he needs to regroup, get his thoughts together. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. The Miz is showing how A-listers do things out there. in pretty bad shape right now. Tonight may not be his night, guys. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is pretty tough to watch. The Miz is calling for it. The Miz showing how A-listers do things out there. Look out! Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Here he goes. Emphatic drop kick by The Miz. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? Things don't look good for Bray Wyatt. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. And he gets him with a counter. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Flips the script on him there. Up and over with a suplex. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. The Miz is showboating, but I'm not sure this occasion calls for it. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. Knocked the breath out with a crushing kick to the gut. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? He has him right where he wants him. is over. It could be over here. And The Miz is your winner. Here is your winner, The Miz. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're gonna follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Let's keep the action rolling along. Singles action on tap right now.
Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have Finn Balor against Dean Ambrose. Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Finn Balor looks to be in phenomenal shape here tonight. Man, look at those abs. I wonder when the last time he had a donut was. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. Well, if you're looking for unpredictability, you found it here in Dean Ambrose. You got that right, Michael. There's no telling what he'll do here tonight. Well, to say he looks ready to get this match started would certainly be understating his eagerness right now. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. This one-on-one -on -one match is going to be a struggle in every sense of the word. Neither man looks like they are remotely entertaining the idea of backing down. This is gonna be good. Well, guys, to say this Phoenix crowd is ready for this match would be a gross understatement. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. How about we touch on Finn Balor a bit? For those that haven't seen much of him, what can we expect tactic-wise from him tonight? Well, we're gonna find out who's the better competitor for sure. No gimmicks, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Yeah, well, anytime superstars of this caliber step into the ring, a great show is sure to follow. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Ambrose starting to struggle now, but he's very aware of who he's in there with. 
and what he has to do to rebound. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. The Lunatic Fringe is one of the toughest, most unpredictable superstars in sports entertainment today. Maybe even ever. Ambrose will do whatever is necessary to pick up the win. Now we have Dean Ambrose on the attack. Ill-advised move. Look at Fit Balor here. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Look at this. The Irishman has his Irish up. There's an excitement and chaos that follows Dean Ambrose wherever he goes. The lunatic fringe will pull out all the stops to make sure he leaves that ring victorious. One of the things that makes the lunatic fringe so unpredictable is he can brawl. He inverted DDT. He's back in control here. Finn Balor now in control of the tempo of this match. No reverses it. Nothing fancy from him there. That was all raw power. Uh-oh. The tide might be turning. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. Wow. He did. Now look at this, guys. Let the head games begin. for the quick pin. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. That's all right, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, and it's a reversal. He wants to do this in the ring. With authority. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Just when you thought he had nothing left. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. Coup de Grasse. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. Soldiers down. This could be it. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! Finn Balor picks up the victory here tonight. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.
The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, singles action coming your way. We have a great match coming up next. It'll be Cesaro versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, we are going anywhere. Making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champion, Cesaro. Cesaro looking a little extra motivated here tonight, Corey. And looking supremely confident as well. Corey, what should we expect from him here tonight? I expect him to come out of the gate hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really concentrating on getting the advantage early. But of course, that's easier said than done. an understatement, Cole. From where I sit, he certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one tall task ahead of him here, that's for sure. This is great to see. Tremendous sportsmanship, mutual respect for each other. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything. This could get ugly, guys. You can count on it, Michael. Saxton, I like you. I want to take you on an all-expenses paid vacation to Suplex City. Oh, no, I'll pass. Oh. Let's touch on Cesaro a bit. So if you were him, what would you do to win this thing? I don't know what's more impressive about Cesaro. The seemingly unmatched raw power or the fact he can speak five languages. Not that speaking five languages would really help him much here, but still impressive. If there's a finishing move that can end an opponent's existence once and for all, it's the F5 from the Beast Incarnate. The move shows Lesnar's power and true disdain for humanity. Oh, he turns it around. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Cesaro looking very beaten right now. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. WWE.com poll had him as the overwhelming favorite leading into this match, but he's definitely not looking like the favorite so much right now. 
The most incredible thing about Brock Lesnar's F5 is no matter who it is, the conqueror lifts up his adversary with the greatest of ease. No one can stop this man. The list of WWE Hall of Famers, legends, superstars, heck, even executives who have been destroyed by the F5 is too long to mention. He slams him down with authority. Going to be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Nope, reverses it. Brock is definitely enjoying himself right here. Just making his presence felt there. Lesnar seems competent here and with good reason. A nice shot by Brock Lesnar. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Ah, oh, Brock Lesnar, it's time, Byron. Get your T-shirts ready. Suplex City in full effect. Suplex City. That should do it. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. Turn out the lights. The party is definitely over now, Michael. With an F5. Bang. That could do it. Let's look at this one more time, Cole. Brock Lesnar sent shockwaves through WWE like never before when he debuted on SmackDown. Can he end it quickly? One. Lesnar easily powers out. He just powered out there, Cole. Could be tap out time. Kamara Lock is in. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar! Now look at this. Uh-oh, here we go. Well, the last match did not disappoint, and now we're on to the next matchup. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It'll be the Revival versus Team Luke Gallows. Big time matchup. to the ring at a combined weight of 446 pounds Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder the Revival 
Survival! Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one. As well as they should be. This match has instant classic written all over it. surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now. Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. And set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Tag team action in full effect, guys. And these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. Well, guys, to say this Phoenix crowd is ready for this match would be a gross understatement. I think we've got a moment here. And for Luke Gallows, it's anybody's guess, I know, but... What do you expect from him here? I wouldn't want to be in the ring with Luke Gallows tonight. He looks about as unpleasant as it gets right now. Man, Luke Gallows, what offense. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. There's the suplex. Luke Gallo starting to slow down a bit. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. This is some great offense by Scott Dawson. Look at Carl Anderson here. Well executed. There it is. Well done. The belly to back suplex. Did you see that? What a way to feel his wrath. with the competition a little. Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. He's simply reminding him that he's here. This is some great offense by Scott Dawson. Looking to make a much... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Oh. 
I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems endless right now. No doubt about that one. Luke Gallows is in a real bad spot. And now Scott Dawson is getting in his opponent's head. And what a reversal from Luke Gallows. Comes up big with the reversal. Flash with the missile drop kick. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. And off the tag is Dash Wilder. in from the apron. He slams him down with authority. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. That's Wilder has him up. Backbreaker. Corey, that looked familiar. That was simply amazing. Luke Gallows is in a real bad with the code breaker. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Yeah, there may be no getting up from that. Shockwave sent down the spine. Dash Wilder tags in. That's a great example of teamwork right there. I'd be shocked if Gallows has... Will he be victorious? Here are your winners, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, The Revival. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. Amazing match, guys. Before we move on, I'd like to remind everybody that we're coming to you live from Phoenix, the site of WrestleMania 26. It's now time for our main event. Sit tight for... We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have Kane. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And it's time for Kane, ladies and gentlemen. All seven feet of him, Cole. I don't think I remember the last time he looked this motivated, guys. That's a scary thought, Cole. Even before tonight, I don't think I've seen too many superstars more motivated than him.
opponent from Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Allow me to point out just how focused he appears to be here tonight. I noticed the same thing, Cole. In fact, it looks to me like he'll settle for nothing short of a victory here in this one. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. That's right, and this Phoenix crowd couldn't be any more excited for this one. And he got him with a choke slam. Lars Sullivan's passed aside. What should his mindset be at this point? It's anybody's guess, I know, but what do you expect from him here? Hey, he's a WWE superstar, which means he's among the very best to lace a pair of boots. But does he have what it takes to beat his competition here tonight? That remains to be seen. Well, in this world, you get a chance to make a national impact every time you step inside the ring. Taking the boots to him. Arenas around the world became filled with fire and despair when Kane appeared at In Your House, Bad Blood, 1997. The entity tore the door off the Hell in a Cell and attacked his brother, The Undertaker. Not so fast. Three. Lars Sullivan clearly out of his element here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Kane tore through the Attitude Era and even Tombstone baseball legend Pete Rose at WrestleMania 14, but that was on Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. I can't believe it, Michael. I think Kane just secured this match. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. One. Two. Up and over. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Just making his presence felt there. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Lars Sullivan is getting it taken to him, and he could be done very soon. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. There's no way to sugarcoat this one. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Beautiful counter from Lars Sullivan. Whoa, missed by a large margin there. Come on, how do you miss by that? He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. 
It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, he's able to reverse it. And a great shot by Kane. Oh, boy, Lars Sullivan getting a bit manhandled here. Taken down with a beautiful suplex. See what kind of response we'll get. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. One, two, oh, somehow. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Nobody locks it in better. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Yeah. Unleashing it for the second time now. He might just be out, guys. I agree, he hasn't moved one bit. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Kane in defensive mode now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Check out Lars Sullivan's offense. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big-time damage, Michael. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. He's a spinning ball of energy. Kane with the excellent move to get out. Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. Just when you thought he had nothing left. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Kane making a statement as we speak. Check out Lars Sullivan's offense. He's looking at it. Made him pay there. Wait a minute. Nicely executed. Lars Sullivan is going for it early. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. And Kane manages to reverse out of that one. This is going to be big one way or another. Incoming. And he lands the slam. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Will he be victorious? I don't believe it. This one is over. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win of that young man's career. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. And that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it.